Hello friends. Today we are going to learn MOV R comma M instruction of 8085 microprocessor. In this instruction, we should know what are possible values of R and what are possible values of M. Okay. So let's see. Here M stands for memory address O, and that address is pointed by HL register pair. Okay, so let's write M O V R comma M. Here this M memory address. It will be a four digit address. Any number between zero 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 H up to F F F F H, and this address is stored. Inside the HL register pair, HL register pair, okay, and this R can be any register, which will be either accumulator, B register, C register, D register, E register, H register, and L register. Okay, we will take example to understand it more clearly. Okay, what will happen because of this instruction? So formula says that. Content of content of HL will get transfer inside the content of register. So let's take example. Suppose the instruction is M O V B comma M. So what will happen? M is the address stored in HL register pair. So let's say content of HL register pair is fifty seventy H. Then content of 57 content of HL is 578, but content of content of HL will be content of 578. So what is there on 578? Let's say 22H. So this 22H will get transferred inside the B. So always remember, whenever M appears in the instruction, we will replace that M by Content of content of HL. Okay, content of HL. Let's say is 5070H, and the content of content of HL is 22H. So this instruction will move this 22H data inside the given register. Okay. So addressing mode of this instruction. Addressing mode totally depends on what is operand in this instruction. So instruction is let's say MOV C comma M. Okay, MOV is opcode and C comma M is operand. Since operand is M, that's why its addressing mode will be register indirect addressing mode. Why register indirect? Because data is not getting transferred directly, but it is provided inside the register. Okay, that's why we will call it as register indirect addressing mode. So instead of taking data directly, we will take it from content of content of HL. That's why indirect register addressing mode group. Since we are transferring data over here, that's why this instruction belongs to data transfer group. Then how many byte instruction it is? Now this instruction is a one byte instruction. How we will remember it? If no digit is given in instruction, then it will be a one byte instruction. See, this instruction can be MOV A comma M, MOV B comma M. MOV C comma M, MOV D comma M, MOV E comma M, MOV H comma M, and MOV L comma M. In all these possible instruction, no digit is given in instruction. That's why this entire instruction is of one byte. You can simply remember it there like this. If no digit is given in instruction, then it is one byte instruction. Then how many flags this instruction will affect? Since we are not processing data over here, we are just transferring data. We are not performing any arithmetic or logical operation on data. That's why its addressing mode will be. That's why its flags will be no flags are affected. Example number one. Let's take example. Suppose instruction is written as M O B B comma M. So before execution of this instruction. We should check what is content of B. Then what is content of L? 
what means what if content of h register and l register therefore what if content of hl register let's say content of b register is 22h content of h register is 50h content of l register is 60h therefore content of hl register pair is 50 60h then on this 50 60h 50 60h memory location suppose data is 33h data is 33h so what will happen this 33 will get transferred inside the v register so after execution of this instruction v will become 33h and remaining all these values will remain same it will not change the content of h it will not change content of l therefore content of h as well as the content of memory location will remain same because it will transfer the data inside the b register and the original copy of data will remain in m register let's take one more example to understand it clearly suppose the instruction is m o v a comma m suppose we want to take data from memory to accumulator so before execution what was there and after execution what will happen that we will check let's say before execution content of accumulator is 00h content of h is 20h content of l is 00h therefore content of hl pair is 2000h therefore this 2000 will treated as memory address so on this 2000 h address some random data 35h is there so what will happen this m value which is 35h which is content of content of hl will get copied inside the accumulator so after execution accumulator will become 35h all other values will remain same h will remain 20h l will remain 30h 00h hl will remain 2000h and on 2000h value will remain 35h now here are some practice problems that you can solve and write your answers in comments let's say that before execution of this instruction content of c is 22h h is 50h l is 20h and on 5020h data is 35h then after execution of c comma m what will be the new value of c whether it will change the content of h and l whether it will change the content of memory location that you can write in comment let's take problem number 2 in problem number 2 before execution content of e register is 78 17h content of h is 38h l is 45h therefore memory location 3845h will have let's say 66h value so after execution of mov e comma m what will be the new value of e register whether it will change the value of h register l register whether it will change the memory location address and what will be the content of memory location address that you can write in comments thank you